everyone. I hope you all had fun making the tin can telephones last week. This week we are going to make some adorable little felt Easter eggs. So let's get started. These little Easter eggs are perfect for putting little treats inside for a spring egg hunt. Felt Easter eggs are an easy hand sewing project. You can make them in any size. I made mine about the size of a chicken egg. Gather your supplies. You will need a piece of thick paper cardstock or thin cardboard, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. You will also need two pieces of felt, thread in matching or contrasting colors to your felt, And a needle. The pins are optional, but I like to use them anyway. And a pair of sharp scissors or shears. You can also use pinking shears, which have serrations on them, which make this nice serrated edge, but they are not needed. Alright. For the first step, you will need your paper, your pencil, and your scissors. Begin by sketching out an egg shape on your paper. I'm going to be doing two different sizes, one slightly smaller and one slightly larger for this egg. The next step is to cut out your eggs. The next step is to cut out your pieces. If, like me, you cut your eggs in two different sizes, the larger one will be the back and the smaller one will be the front. Begin by pinning your pattern pieces to your felt. If you don't have pins, you can also use a pencil and trace around your pattern piece on your felt, and then remove your pattern piece and just cut on the lines. <laughs> now I'm nearly ready to sew. I will just need to cut the hole for the treats to go into my egg right here. To do so, draw a line across your egg leaving about a quarter inch undrawn on either side. The next step is to fold your egg in half so it's easier to make a straight line. You can use pink and shirts for this if you have them, but I like just using a straight pair of scissors. Cut along the line, making sure that you don't cut all the way across the egg or else it'll fall in half, like so. With this one, I also cut downward, and that's just a nice way to make a larger opening. You may have to trim it a little bit if you don't cut fully across like I did. Alright, you're ready to sew it now. To sew your egg, you will need a lot more thread than you think. On every egg that I have made, I've gotten just enough and I've barely been able to finish it, so make sure you get quite a bit of thread. I'm going to use about, let me see, that's about enough. As I'm going to fold it in half, I think I'm going to use about four feet of thread. Snip your thread and thread onto your needle. Then find both ends and line them up. They don't have to be perfectly lined up. It's rather hard to get them perfectly lined up. All right, tie them into a double knot. And then center your needle. 
To begin, choose a place on your egg, and I'm going to do it at the bottom, and stick your needle through from the back to the front of your top piece. To whip stitch, you will take your needle and place it just below the edge of your top piece and pull it through the bottom piece. Then go about an eighth of an inch along and stick it back through about a sixteenth of an inch above the edge of your top felt piece. The tail can get tangled. Put it back down at the bottom of your top piece through the bottom piece. Continue this process all the way around, going up from the back to the front, and then down from the front to the back. For younger children, a running stitch is just fine. Once you reach the end, you will go back into the front but not pass through the top piece, just pass through the bottom piece. Then tie a simple double knot with your threads and trim. And there you have it, your adorable little Easter egg. If, like me, you did not perfectly center your top piece on your bottom piece, you can go around now and trim it on the uneven bits. Be careful not to cut your thread. For a more advanced design, you can use two of the same size pieces of felt. And for the chick, cut a piece of yellow felt, or whatever color you want the chick to be, in this shape, and then sew on a small triangle as the beak, and two round pieces for the eyes, before whip stitching onto your egg's front piece. Thanks for watching! Bye!